I started investing at 11, but regret not starting earlier. Warren Buffett Today is a very special episode as one of our subscribers named Gaurav Shah has asked us for financial advice and we're gonna help him through this video. And the only reason for all this effort is because the dude used the word pretty please. He wrote, I'm 25 year old and want to start my finance journey. Please help. I work in private sector bank and earn 40,000 rupees per month and live in Bangalore. Have normal lifestyle of pub movies and all drama. I can invest 15,000 rupees per month and have goals of annual trip, buying a car in 3 to 5 years and a destination wedding maybe after 5 to 6 years, trying to get her to say yes, lol. Guide me with whole road map and what all I need right now. Pretty please. So most of us have been in this situation before. New job, less money, more goals and no idea where to start from. So how should one be starting his or her finance journey? Well, I have a full playlist for this named Financial Independence Step by Step. You can check that out. So in order to lead a prosperous financial life, we need to make sure we don't live with the most common regret all the investors live with and that is that they did not start early. As much as this regret is real, the thought of saving or investing is often the least of our priorities soon after we start earning. At this stage with the newfound financial independence but low pay, we tend to spend more than we can afford. Most of the time this translates into negligible to no saving investment at all. And this way our investment process gets delayed. Finally, once our investment journey starts in the late 20s or early 30s, it strikes us that we have lost a few precious years to let the power of compounding play the magic with our money. And that is when the thought of not starting early becomes a regret. And I get this message all the time from you guys, like our friend Gaurav, for a help in mapping out how to kickstart your finance journey and what it should look like from the scratch. So today in this video of My Money Universe, we will plan out a roadmap for Gaurav and all of you who are just starting their finance journey and talk about why it is crucial to start the investment journey early and a few other essential factors to kickstart your financial journey as a young earner. First. Let's understand why is it essential to start investing early. Key to wealth creation is starting your investments early. In fact, the sooner the better. Look at this example to understand how it works wonders. So we will take two people from our subscribers for the example. One is of course Gaurav of 25 year age and the other one is Amar Deogarya who has been a regular supporter of this channel and let's assume his age to be 30 years. So Gaurav 25 and Amar 30 wish to invest Rs 15,000 every month in a SIP and keep investing till 55 age. So the investment period for Gaurav would be 30 years and 25 for Amar. So there is no fixed return for SIPs so we will assume the rate of return for the said investment as 12%. So let's calculate their final corpus. So investment amount 15,000 per month, investment tenure is 30 years for Gaurav, 25 for Amar. Rate of interest 12%, total amount invested by Gaurav is 54 lakhs, 45 lakhs by Amar. As per the calculations, by starting the investment only 5 years earlier, Gaurav would earn more than double of Amar's corpus by just investing rupees 9 lakh more. By investing a tiny sum of 54 lakhs, he is getting 5.29 crores after 30 years. Whereas Amar has invested 45 lakhs and receiving only 2.55 crores. This shows clearly that for your money to work properly, you need to start investing as early as possible. However, this is easier said than done. As we discussed earlier, at this stage with the little money in hand, it's often difficult to manage the expenses, especially if you're staying away from your hometown. So how do one put away money as savings? Let's explore this by talking a little bit more about Gaurav's financial situation, that is his earnings versus expenses and his goals to understand his situation better. Gaurav is working at a private sector bank right now. Being in young city like Bangalore, he likes to explore the city, its pubs, eating joints and malls and everything. Also he made new friends in the city and often goes out for movies and concerts and everything. Among his financial priorities, Gaurav likes to travel, so he wants to save for an annual trip every year. He needs to buy a car for day-to-day -day commuting, plus he also wants to have a destination wedding, for which he wants to start saving from now. The problem is with the salary of 40,000 that he gets every month, it is tough to meet all these expenses and also save towards his financial priorities. Hence, here are 4 things that Gaurav should be doing to manage his money more efficiently and kickstart his finance journey. Number 1. Make a budget. The only way to make the ends meet and yet save a little money every month is streamlining expenses by creating a monthly budget for yourself. And creating a budget is a simple 3 step formula. Here they are. A. 
track your expenses for two to three months to find out how much you are spending towards rent, food, utility bills, eating out, and leisurely activities, etc. B. Allot reasonable amount of money for each expense. That means if your eating out expense is 2500 rupees, then give it a little bit leeway and keep 500 rupees extra in case it goes up, so that your budget does not crumble just like that. C. Stick to the plan. Also while making the budget, Gaurav can allot a reasonable amount of money as savings, investments, which is meant for the annual trip, car and his wedding. However, living on a budget does not mean that you should stop having fun at all. Gaurav should allot a reasonable allowance in his monthly budget for leisurely activities but at the same time, ensure not to overdo it. Number 2. Define financial goals in respect to time frame and start investing accordingly. Right now, Gaurav has three financial priorities, saving for an annual trip, buying a car and saving for a grand destination wedding. Of course, the girl has to say yes first. But for now, these are his priorities and he can turn these priorities into financial goals. Short term, mid term and long term. And take a call on how much he needs to save towards each goal. So let's see how we can divide our financial goals into time frames. Short term goals will be 0 to 3 years away. Mid term goals will be 3 to 5 years away. Long term goals is something that is more than 5 years away in future. So as per the time frame, saving for the annual trip would be short term goal, for a car it would be a mid term goal and saving for the destination wedding would be a long term goal. It's very important to break down your goals in these time frames so you can plan and invest well. Short term goal Now when it comes to investing for short term goals, liquid funds are ideal. Liquid funds are the safest funds in the mutual fund category as they lend to highly rated corporates for a very short duration. This ensures the risks are kept minimal. So for saving for the annual trip, Gaurav can take a call about what kind of money he wants to spend on the trip and invest accordingly in liquid funds. In these funds, you can withdraw money almost immediately nowadays and everything is online so no hassle. Midterm goal For a midterm goal like buying a car, he can invest in aggressive hybrid funds. For these funds, around 65-80% to 80 of the money is in equity and the remaining in debt. Small exposure to debt securities helps to stabilize equity volatility in the near term. So they are best for new investors with mid-term goals. Because you don't want your goal to be coming near and then suddenly market to dip down and hence failing the whole plan. Long-term goal Presumably Gaurav won't get married in another 5 years so saving for his destination wedding is a long-term goal. For goals that are at least 5 years away, one should be investing in equity mutual funds. While there are a lot of fund categories, but as a beginner, Gaurav should stick to large cap funds or multi cap funds. If he includes these two practices in his day to day financial activities, he can save sufficiently towards his goals even after meeting all his monthly expenses, and that too without compromising much on his lifestyle. Number 3 Insurance Within insurance, there are two types that you should opt for when you are young and just starting your finance journey. Health insurance and term insurance. Having personal health insurance will ensure you don't have to spend from your pocket in case there is a medical emergency. And the emergency can come anytime so be prepared for it from before. Meanwhile, term insurance is a pure life cover. It will cover the financial requirement of your family in case you were to die an untimely death. Plus the earlier you buy them, the cheaper they are. You can always use the websites like Policy Bazaar to find out the best plans for you. There are many other websites too. Number 4. Emergency Fund The last thing in these crucial factors is building an emergency fund. This fund is created to meet urgent or unforeseen expenses, which should be about 3 to 6 months of one's expenses. It will ensure that one doesn't have to dip into his or her savings in case of an emergency. You can keep this money into ultra short term debt funds. So the bottom line is that the wealth creation is a long term process and there is no shortcut to it. As much as it is necessary to start your financial journey early on, there is no need to rush the process. At this stage, keep it simple and make it slow. All you need to do is follow a disciplined approach towards investment. For more understanding of investment journey, you can check out my portfolio update playlist where I invest consistently and keep updating you guys with all my purchases and investment philosophy. Gaurav brother, I hope this video helped you in understanding where all and how to invest your money in achieving all that you want to achieve in life. I can help you in only finance stuff. For your girl, we can just wish you good luck. Smash the like button everyone to wish our brother Gaurav the very best of luck in achieving all his dreams. See you next time, My Money Universe.